Hey everybody, it's ComphHelp. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get brushes off the internet and how to make a brush um, on your own so you can use in your Adobe Photoshop projects. Alright, so basically the reason why I'm making this video is so um, I don't have to go over too much when I'm making my next video, which is actually how to make um, a wallpaper like this. So, there you go. That's basically uh, what I'm going to show. Alright, so the first um, first thing I want to show you is BrushEasy.com. This is where I get my brushes. I'm more than sure you guys know better websites than this one to get brushes. And if you know any other website to get a brush, just go ahead and leave me a comment below. So I'm always up to check out those kind of websites because uh, I like looking at brushes and such. So once you're on BrushEasy, go ahead and click Brushes. And all you have to do basically is look for a brush. Let's say I want... Um, Let's say I want this one. 14 dry brush strokes. You have a preview. Usually in the preview they'll either show you all the different strokes that you'll get or they'll show you like a project that was made with the brushes that they created. Okay, so all you have to do is go to download and go to save file. And it's going to save your brush. I know my download speed is horrible. But, uh, okay. So I'm going to wait for this to download. By the way, yes, uh, I finally upgraded my AVAS. I did not realize a new version was out. I just uh, updated my parents' computers, and it wasn't out at the time. So, I don't know. I think it's fairly new. And if not, then shame on me, whatever. Okay. So, here we go. The brushes are downloaded. I'm going to right-click it and go to Extract here. So it extracts on the desktop. Alright, and this is the file that you're going to want, an ABR file. Let's open up Photoshop here, and it's as simple as this. Um, when you're in your brushes, make sure your brush is selected. Click the select triangle drop down. Go to the side, go to load brushes, and find where your ABR file was, and load it. Done, it should be all the way at the bottom, and here they are, those like strokes. Let me open up a new document to give you an example. Right, so uh, you can see that this brush is pretty huge, 2,336. So the size of it is it's huge. So if I tap it, there you go. You see, it's a really nice brush. So uh, that's how you get brushes off the internet. Basically, just find a place where a site that hosts brushes, and you know, there you go. You can be all creative with them and stuff. All right, so that's how you download a brush. Now I'm going to show you how to make a brush. Just go to new, okay. All right, so um, make sure it's a transparent background. And I mean, you can use brushes to create a brush if you want, but uh, I'm just going to use a regular this default brush. Make it a little bit bigger using the bracket side bracket. And let's say I want a smiley face or something, something very simple. There we go. Wow. Anyway, so let's say I want that to be my brush. All I have to do is go to Edit, and then go to uh, where is it? Define Brush Preset, and I want to name this uh, Smiley Smile. Oh, let's say my name is Smiley. There we go, Smile. I'm bad at language, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, and there you go. You can see it's your brush now, and I'll have it in there, all the way at the bottom. There's my brush. You can always right-click it, rename the brush. You can always delete the brush, whatever you want. So I can click, click, can even uh, change the color to red. Click, click. Alright, if I open up a new document, I can resize it. Click, click. I can um, drag across, drag, drag. And there you go, you know, you've made yourself a brush. So anyway, I know this video is kind of noobish, it's just uh, I don't want my Photoshop beginners to get lost in my next video when I show you how to make a wallpaper because a brush or two, two brushes are actually necessary to make it. So alright, that's how you make a brush guys, that's how you download a brush and use it. There you go, it's that simple. So uh, yeah, I'll be referring people to this video if um, in the middle of my next video. 
Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video, if I helped you out in any way, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos, if you like the way my personality is, if you like the way I teach, whatever. Alright, I mean, it's pretty cool. If you don't like this video, if you didn't like it at all, didn't find it helpful, then please feel free to not subscribe to me. I mean, it's all on you, you know? I'm not going to force you. So, uh, that's that. I have a few links to share with you. First off, check out my website at comphelp.com. Check out my blog at comphelp.info. Follow me on Twitter. I like to tweet. I only have like 1,400 uh, followers. If you want to bump that number up, follow me at twitter.com slash comphelp. Remember, all links will be in the side. Um, if you want to learn how to make some extra cash online like I do, go ahead and check out cashcrate.biz. Um, check out my friend, CIMG. Uh, you can find his YouTube channel, Creative Ice Designs or creative ice design with an S. He teaches Photoshop stuffs. He's really pro. And he's right now doing a series called C I M G. C I M G. Which uh basically gets you from beginner to getting familiar with Photoshop to pro. You know, getting uh from nothing all the way up to you know what you're doing. And it really makes Photoshop a lot easier to learn and stuff. So his link will be in the description also. So thanks guys. Again please rate comment and if you feel you want to subscribe thanks